want you to rest your elbow kind of um, on the inner side of your knee and then you're going to do a bicep curl. So you'll do, uh, for that minute, you'll do half of the minute, 30 seconds on one arm and then you'll switch and do the other 30 on the other arm. Crossover hammer curls. So you're going to hold the weights once again. Um, you're going to keep the grip where your palms are facing in. And then you're just going to cross it over and do a curl, bending at your elbow only. So it looks like this. And alternate for the entire minute. legs up and then you're just, you're just going to press up. Elbows down to the floor and straight up. That's what it looks like. Buck kicks and two jack steps. So you're going to do a buck kick, four of them, and then you step out. So it's one, two, three, four, and then two steps out to the side. One, two, three, four. That's your motion. Our set dips. So you're just going to need like a bench or a chair or your couch. You're just going to place your hands on it and you're going to drop down, bending at your elbows only, and then come up. Now, easier is bringing your feet closer to your body, harder is the more further you go out with your legs. So you decide that according to where you are at. What's most important in terms of form with tricep dips is that you go straight down with your butt and you're not out here like this. Okay, so straight down and up. Elbow shooting straight behind you. Okay, fast step ups, you're gonna use a stair, you use a little stool, anything to give you just a little bit of height because you're gonna be stepping up. You know, and on fast motion, just also show you slow first. It's one foot up, the other foot up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. And you're gonna give it some speed. Like this, it should look like this. Central lateral raise, it's just front raises and side raises. That's all it is. Remember not to bring the weights past your chest. Bring them to the side. Jump rewinds. You're gonna take one big jump forward and then you're going to jump back three times. One big jump forward and then one, two, three. One, two, three. Arm fly. So you're gonna bring one leg back. You're gonna lean one elbow um, onto your knee and then you're going to bring the other arm up and do a fly. One, you switch legs and then you change arms and do it on the other side. So you squeeze back. Stop. Okay, so three mountain climbers and one squat jump. So you're gonna do a mountain climber. When I say three, so it's one, two, three, and then jump up. So you want your weights in your hands, palm facing, facing out. So you're gonna come up to a curl. At the top of the range of motion, you're gonna turn, rotate your hands so that your palms are facing out, and then bring them down. So your motion looks like this. Up, palms facing up, turn at the top, and bring them down. Shoulder press, so you're going to bring the weights up and together, back down. Plank is just a plank, but you're going to 
going to be on your hands. Make sure that your back is flat. You don't want to be up here and you don't want to be down here. You want everything to be straight in one line. You want to come on your side, elbow on the ground. You want your elbow to be right underneath your shoulder, legs extended out, and you're going to lift your body off the floor. You can either place your hands on your hip or straight up. Now, for a modified version, you'll bend your bottom leg and you stay up like this. So you want your entire body to be in line with one another. Don't have your lower body out forward or back. So a nice straight line with your body. Then you'll do the same on the other side. You're riding from side to side while holding your legs up. Three more pulses. So you're gonna lay down on your stomach. You want your arms straight out in front of you. So you're gonna lift them off the floor. You want your arms and your legs off the floor just a little bit, just to keep the tension in your lower back. And then you're gonna raise one arm higher and the opposite leg up, and you'll pulse up two times, one, two, and then switch, one, two. One, two, one, two. Now, if it becomes too difficult to modify, you can drop your arms and your legs, keep them on the ground, and then go up, one, two, one, two. That's the modified version. A basic exercise that a lot of people do not do correctly, um, because many times when you see people, they'll just pull on their necks and come up as opposed to really using your abs. So you wanna place your hands behind your head and lightly. So you don't wanna drag your head up. Just wanna place them lightly and you wanna imagine driving your chin up toward the ceiling. And when you come up, you wanna come up from your abs, not from your neck. So up and squeeze. Make sure you're pressing your belly button down into the floor as you come up. So you're not arching, you're pressing down. Sometimes you'll perform crunches with your legs straight out, which will work um, also your lower abs. Sometimes you can do them up with your legs straight up, which will work primarily your upper. And then sometimes you'll do them with your knees bent and that will kind of engage both your upper and your lower. You don't wanna get on your mat. You can place your hands underneath your butt for extra support for your lower back. And you're just gonna drive your knees up, bringing your butt off the floor just a little bit and back down. 